first day in Tokyo. We actually arrived in Tokyo last night but by the time we got to the hotel we were so tired and hungry from the jet lag and we're also starving because airplane food was pretty shitty. So as soon as we got here we literally just went to the 7-eleven right across our hotel got some cup noodles a little dessert and ate that and I was eating it like half asleep because I was so exhausted. Um, but the food was still really good. Like, it was like life-changing good. Anyways, before coming here, it took me so much hard work to plan like our two-week itinerary. So what I planned for today is to first go to the Tsukiji fish market, then explore Jinza, and then go to Shimokitazawa for thrift shopping. For dinner, like I have planned to go to Ichiran Ramen, but I don't know. Our food plans are more spontaneous. By the way, if you're planning a trip to Japan or if you're watching this vlog because you want to see like where you should go. I will link my itinerary in the descriptions. This is the fried chicken. Cheers. I like it. What's your rating? Chicken is juicy, soft, crispy on the outside. <laughs> Give this an eight. I'm gonna say seven. It's juicy and crispy. If I could use my seasoning. This is the chicken teriyaki. Mm. I don't think I can eat the whole thing though. Meatball? Chicken meatball. Wait, chicken heart. No, I'm not trying the heart. <laughs> mm. We're in Japan for a reason. Just try it, give it a try. Adventures, when are you ever gonna try it? We came to this fish market only to eat chicken. <laughs> okay. We should get something that's fish. Everything was on display. Okay. How was it? Too chewy. That's, that's some crazy shit, yo. That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna try one. Looks like the corn fish cake's pretty popular. You wanna get that one? Yeah, it's the last one. Okay, this is number one. Corn fish cake. <laughs> Lily doesn't like fish. It's good. It's wow. Really it's it. good, really? It's good? Yeah. It's pretty good. I think I'd give it a 7. The best thing we had today was the tuna. Yeah. Well, I couldn't really taste it. It was more like the texture, right? Because I don't know like if I'm a tuna person. It kind of just tasted like texture, but no flavor. Like all I really tasted was soy sauce. Yeah, because you drowned it in soy sauce. <laughs> but I was too scared to taste like fishiness. Mm -mm. I got some fried tuna. 4 out of 10. Wouldn't try again. We got our Wagyu sirloin. When she was handing it to us, my hair went into the sauce and then went all over my shirt. Some expensive piece of meat. Oh my god, it's so tender. It's like melting your mouth. Dude, it's so tender, bro. Mm. After you eat it, you get the sauce flavor and then you get the beef flavor. And it's like. Oh. So good. You're gonna hate it. I am. Just try it though. Can you give me a tiny one? Like mm -hmm. half of that? Yeah, yeah, like this little bit. No, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wasabi? <laughs> okay, this is the last day we're eating. Yummy? It's kind of sweet. Yeah, it's a dessert. It's supposed to be sweet. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, a, it's egg, but it's like an egg dessert. We're gonna go to Ginza 6 first, but a lot of stores don't open until 11. 
and it's 10 a.m. So we're gonna go to Ginza Itoya first, which is like apparently a really good stationery store because they open in 10 minutes. I bought my sister this exact same bowl many years ago for probably 10 or 20 dollars and it's three dollars here ring ring the bowl i bought you was only worth three dollars <gasps> yes We're waiting in line to eat at Nakamura Tokichi. I found out about this place on Instagram because of their really aesthetic matcha parfaits. I don't know how long we have to wait. We've been waiting for like 10 minutes already. Maybe we have to wait for an hour. That's what the line looks like right now. Matcha cream, matcha chiffon cake, and packed millet berry. This is a chestnut. Mm. Excellent. It's good. I love chestnuts. The perfect combination of like sweetness and bitterness. I finished it. That's good. This is so good. This is the best dessert I've had in my life. Actually? Yeah. Originally it was shaved ice. From where? Uh, Marco? <laughs> Sugar marmalade. Damn. Like this. this. We found these stickers that we're gonna get. And we found the Ghibli section. It's too dark though, too plain. I think I'm gonna get her this. This is for Ring Ring. I'm getting sensory overload here. How many people are there? Oh my god. This is like pretty good though. The deer is like cute, but I don't know. Am I gonna wear it? I finished my noodles in five minutes. It was the best bowl of noodles I've ever had. I think we're gonna be eating here again. It's currently 6.30 p.m. So as for the rest of the day, we're just gonna head back to the hotel. Just unwind and sleep by like 8 or 9 p.m.
we're back at our hotel. Um, I want to do a little haul. We went thrift shopping and I didn't get anything. I found that Burberry tea and I really wanted to buy it, but I think I only wanted to because it's Burberry. I actually like don't see myself wearing it. So Eric copped it. This is what it looks like. Like it's cute, but I just don't suit the oversized streetwear look. It's not for me. This is the back. Eric also got this vintage t-shirt and a pair of green baggy pants. I went to the Flamingo thrift shop and I found a really cute necklace. I brought like some silk dresses, so I thought this would like go well with them. This is what it looks like nice and minimal i like looking at things i like looking at everything but me and baggy clothes like i just look like a potato the last thing we got was um these sets of spoons and forks which eric and i just thought was really cute and it was only three dollars each so <sighs> yes that's it I'm gonna save most of my shopping for Don Quixote, which we're going to tomorrow because we like went into one briefly today and there was already so many things I wanted to buy. But tomorrow we're gonna go to the mega one in Shibi Shibia. Shibia? It's currently 7.53 p.m. and I'm gonna shower and get ready to sleep by nine and wake up at five again. It's so fun waking up at five. Anyways, good night. Good morning. It's currently 7 a.m. and Eric and I are gonna leave in around half an hour to go to Shinjuku because we have a guided tour to Mount Fuji today. So we're gonna eat these from 7-Eleven. We have pudding and an egg sandwich. When we come back, we're gonna explore Shibuya, do some more shopping. This is what the itinerary they gave us for the guided tour looks like. I'm like a little worried because I think the weather around Mount Fuji is supposed to be either cloudy or rainy today and honestly the reports on the weather app have been really inconsistent every time i check it either changes to rain sun or cloudy so i don't know what to expect hopefully we can see mount fuji though because i don't want to just take pictures in front of a lake why is it so good i didn't expect it to be yeah. that great but it's good mm, i could eat another half yeah, I, I could eat a whole. Oh my god. <laughs> Delicious. That's so good. here are so beautiful they're like full of trees which is so pretty like it's just hills of trees i've never seen anything like it before like look at all of that i don't know if it's clear but it's just all green i think it's such a good idea we did this guided tour if we didn't i don't think we'd know where to go so it's nice to just like sit back and enjoy what there is to see. We have half an hour before we have to meet the group back at the bus. So yeah, let's go explore. 
Unpicked before, you know what I mean? So pretty. This is Mount Fuji from another angle. It's still cloudy, a little too cloudy, but that's okay. Ooh, there's gray. Oh, wait, wait. Peach? The, the, the Kyoho grape and Muscat mix. That looks fine. good. I should have got that. I never like had plum ice cream before. That is so good. I know. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have tissue? We're gonna try a Mount Fuji peach grown on the fresh soils around Mount Fuji. This peach was five dollars. <laughs> juicy. Wow, so sweet. Dude, they fucking cuck us every time. <laughs> I swear to God. This is a peach parfait. So fresh. Try typing on them. No. I want it to sound like creamy. I need creamy. Oh, that, that was okay.
today is day three in Tokyo. It's 10.30 a.m. I'm really excited for today because we are going to the Owl Cafe in Akihabara and the Pig Cafe in Harajuku and just exploring those two areas as well. So we're gonna leave right now and get our day started. this for lunch every day. <laughs> I feel like when we go in to get water, we just give in. Can we see everything? <laughs> There's celebrities. <laughs> There's this shit in like Times Square, except they're models, but it's just anime characters here. Yeah. I got this from Hunter Hunter. I got this luffy thing for, for my other friends. Sounds pretty cute. Those are pockets. Got the mining first? Yeah. Back, going first. So far. What is that? What? what is that? <laughs> Two of them. I finally found one that I wanted. Which one did you get? I got the white one. <laughs> They're kind of close though. Is it too far? Oh. Oh. Oh my god! Give me the fucking thing, bro. Give me the fucking thing.
I think we're supposed to put in the rice. Very slimy. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll eat it. It's currently 6.30 and we're back at the hotel because we live so close to Akihabara, so we needed to relax for a bit before going to Harajuku. What I really want to do is open the gachas I bought. So I only got two. I don't even know why I got this squishy seal. It just looked like mochi. Actually, I think I bought it because I just wanted to squish it. Okay. This is the squishy seal. It does feel like mochi. <laughs> Am I gonna keep it? I don't know. This one is the one I really wanted. The cat pencil holder. And it's like posing. It's so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna keep this on my desk. Neither of mine have relaxed in the past 10 minutes. And then Eric's are just so peaceful. I'm jealous. Why do mine keep oinking and chewing on their like saliva? For our last meal of the day, we have some more cup noodles. Eric made me choose a different cup noodle flavor so i have chili tomato and again we have a soft boiled egg so i'm gonna give this a try it's all right i love the classic the best careful are you sure? Or are you just like, didn't wait? <laughs> I'm full of that. <laughs> yeah, so let's go down later. No, like I'm not hungry anymore. Because I was so awful. <laughs> Your taste buds. <laughs> just not, not hungry no more. On today's itinerary, we're going to Team Labs. I'm doing a head spa, which I'm really excited for because I remember seeing YouTube videos years ago of these Japanese head spas. So I'm finally getting one today. Right after, we're going to Shibuya Sky. And lastly, we're gonna go to Sensoji Temple, which I think would be really cool to see at night. That's like basically all we're gonna do in Tokyo. Time went by so fast. Let's go. Relax now. It was like such a good experience. Did you only make dolls for them? Are you going to? So juicy. Oh. Oh. 
For dessert this time, we got peach parfait again, special pudding, and strawberry cake. I'm gonna stick with my peach parfait. really relaxing. I think I fell asleep a few times. So basically first she like shampooed my hair with some special wash. Then she did some like electric scalp treatment. It was so tingly. I felt the electricity like all over my scalp. After she did some sort of light treatment, it's supposed to promote hair growth, prevent hair thinning, and prevent oxidized sebum. But it was such a good experience. It was so worth it. Here, try this. Can you tell them I want another claw machine? It tastes better because I want it. You don't understand the pain. You spent $60 in total. I know. And you won three candies. It just feels good to win. This is such a nice private space. I can't believe they just have these set up. Like, in the middle of Tokyo. As we wait to get into Shibuya Sky, I might as well do a little skincare haul of what I just got. And I spent like 40,000 yen or like 400 bucks, but I think this is $800 worth of skincare, okay? I have these really popular Shiseido serums. One is anti-aging and the other is brightening. And an SK2, facial treatment essence. At the place I got it, which was Matsumoto Kiyoshi, SK2 is doing like a little special and I got this for free. A little Patera like travel skincare kit. Yeah, it's, it's that one right there, yeah. Okay. <gasps> I got a bad fortune. Whoa. Alright. Is that extra bad luck? I there can't even tie it up. I'm gonna get this one. The, the teriyaki chicken? Phantom Melon. It's 11.30 p.m. Our last meal was 10 hours ago, so we're so hungry. We got shaka shaka chicken, fries, and multiple different burgers. We got the red pepper. Seasoning. Seasoning. Close, and then got a shaka shaka. Shaka shaka too hard, bro. What the fuck? Dude, they told me to shake it, man. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> you were shaking it so vigorously. Okay, let's try this. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's like a giant chicken nugget. Tastes like your average McDonald's fries. They're less salty. 
This is the teriyaki chicken. That's a solid bite. Mm -hmm. It's was, so good. Actually? Mm -hmm. This is the teriyaki beef because it has an egg. Damn, that looks good. How's that one? Chicken's better. Shrimp burger? Mm-hmm. Imagine like a spicy meat chicken, but shrimp, but not like that fishy flavor, you know what I mean? It's actually good. Mm. I prefer chicken. Here, I'll try the spicy chicken. Oh, that one looks good. Mm. Can I get this? Mm. If I were to rank them, teriyaki chicken, spicy chicken, teriyaki mm -hmm. beef, shrimp.